energy is wired for service. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. You sang boat. Oh, boat. Yeah, the fastest, fastest man on the earth. He can run 33 kilometers per hour. Is you saying boat even human? He's so fast. Anyway, so Candy, I hope you enjoy your evening. I know you've got homework to do, but I hope that it goes quickly. <laughs> Listen to your music. Listen to your music. I think it really work. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and to this cosy evening winter routine. So, if you don't watch my videos, you wouldn't know I'm an online English teacher. If you watch my videos, then you already know this because I talk about it all the time. But yeah, so I'd finished a day of classes here and I was just filling out my assessments and just, you know, talking about things that happened in class, anything for the students to work on and all of that. And then I decided that I needed to pop to Sainsbury's to grab a few bits. So I got ready, got dressed. Face mask, check. Need that, definitely. Hat, check because it is cold outside at the moment in England. Debit card and ID, check. And my phone. Got all my bags ready as well. I thought this was a really cute hat and this red one too. Sainsbury's do really lovely clothes, I think. I was feeling this top, like jumper and shirt combo. I thought it was very nice. I am one of those people that carries a basket even though I know that I need a trolley. And then I end up just breaking my back because I refuse to use a trolley and it's really silly, but I'm so stubborn. Anyway, so I'm back home now. And I mostly just got, as I said, essentials. So vegetables, I got this fish. This fish is really nice, this salmon, chicken. Uh, yeah, lots of veggies, some milk, some porridge, some bread, pink lady apples, they are elite. And this snowman toilet paper, I mean, isn't it just so cute? Obviously it's Christmas in like just over a week, I think. So here I was setting up my lighting so that I could film. So I'm in the process of applying for a new job, still as an online English teacher, but for a new company. So I was filming this intro, you have to do like an introduction, and that's part of the application process. I have been teaching English for three years. I have a degree and I also have a 
TEFL English certificate. I love to sing. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. And oh gosh, my living room is such a state. <laughs> Absolute carnage. I had stuff everywhere. I had wrapping paper, it was my niece's birthday the other day so I'd been wrapping presents and I just had clothes everywhere and yeah, this was just a really huge mess so I needed to tidy this, put on my headphones and listen to a podcast because that's what I usually do when I'm cleaning, it makes the time go by so much quicker if you're someone who hates cleaning like I do and one of my favourites Jay Shetty. I really enjoy his podcast. I think he's so thoughtful. I feel like we overemphasize service for women, right? That you are at the service of the people around you and that's your value in the world. And we kind of underemphasize service for men. And it seems like for you, finding service as purpose was really a very meaningful part of your identity. I'm wondering how you see you know, us being able to make that connection. What does service look like for men? For me, service and masculinity go hand in hand, but service and humanity go hand in hand. And I think this is, it's slightly veering off from where we are, but I think it's an important to, point to make is, when I lived as a monk, we stopped identifying as men and women. We were asked to identify as consciousness. I'm just, I'm just consciousness, I'm a human, I'm a soul, I'm whatever you want to call it, I'm energy. And that energy is wired for service. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making. First, she's just gotta stop all the faking. And she how have i got this many clothes in the living room i don't know um but yeah i need to put those away isn't it funny how just putting some cushions on the sofa just makes everything look a bit tidier putting in some washing as well So here I was on the phone to my nan. My nan is my absolute world and I'm so, so lucky to have her in my life. I talk to her every evening, every night before bed. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it good? <laughs> oh, you might as well just book it and then see what happens. I've been wanting to have an early night for about a month. It just never happens. That's going to be one of my New Year's resolutions. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. All right then. Okay. Good Le night. No night. Love you lots. Love you. Love, Love you. you. Bye. Bye. And then I remembered that I hadn't opened my advent calendar. So I did this. It was a dark chocolate Buena Bar piece. It was nice. As you can see, I liked it. And now it was time to get a bit cosy. So lighting the candles, so important, you know, let's set the ambiance. This gingerbread and cookies candle is from Asda. It's like four pounds and it smells so good. It's a dupe for the Bath and Body Works candles that you get. And oh, honestly, it fills the room so nicely. Heating has to go on as well, like crank that up crank it up, turn off the lights, you know, putting on the pyjamas, Christmas pyjamas of course, 
Ta -da! <laughs> and I love these pajamas. I think they're so cute. They're from Sainsbury's, and they make me feel very festive. By the way, I was so tempted to make this like a festive Christmassy evening routine. So I tried my hardest to not make it too festive. <laughs> So while my dinner was cooking in the oven, I thought I would do a little bit of editing. Yes, I have the Spice Girls as my screensaver because I went to see them in concert a couple of years ago and oh my god, they were amazing. So yeah, I'm just editing that video that you saw of me or doing that teaching introduction and I'm just adding some other bits to my application. Now the salmon is ready. Oh, smells so good, looks so good. So nice. I love salmon. It's one of my favourite meals. Simple, but so tasty. With sweet potato and vegetables. It was a very yummy dinner. So, of course, I've got to watch a bit of YouTube while I eat my dinner. Who other than my fave, Ellie Darby. I always dance to this intro every single time it comes on. I'm taking off my makeup now to get ready for bed. I don't usually use facial wipes, but my micellar water had run out. Then I cleansed my face and gave it a nice clean with my facial brush. Brushed my teeth, added some moisturiser, put on a bit of lip balm. And then I thought I would go through some of my classes for the next day just to see like what my lesson plans were and things like that. I try to journal as often as I can. I don't do it every single day. I really think it's necessary for me to kind of empty out all my thoughts and it's just really therapeutic and helps to make me feel like lighter in myself so I just talk about my day really and then I write three things that I'm grateful for at the end of it this is my bookmark this is my mum and this was me when I was about two years old or something. Reading is one of my favourite ways to unwind. I honestly sleep so much deeper and have a better quality of sleep just from reading a book before I go to bed. Honestly, it's amazing and it's one of my favourite ways to just get a bit lost and escape a bit of reality. Getting into bed and that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.